Tala Falava, welcome to Mercy Nature of Samoa, where we amplify the Samoan culture. Uh, my name is Logan Tapawala, and so today we'll be showing you three things that every Sivafi performer should know. Number one would be your knees. Every time you perform, you have to bend your knees. Even I forget sometimes, but that is very crucial to the Sivafi performance. So bend your knees when performing. Number two would be the padding on the practice stick actually has meaning. So for the practice stick, you would notice that this one side might be longer than the other side, but the other side might be thicker than one side. That is actually for a reason. So the longer side, for example, is part of the Nifoti. It represents the blade and the bottom uh, just keeps it even when you're spinning. So we tell you this because when you are practicing, you want to make sure the long side, which represents the blade, is always on your left side. So when you're spinning or practicing moves, you want to make sure it's always on your left side. The third thing every Sibafri performer should know is the history. Here is the history presented by Moena Pitaya during our Sibafri workshop. So in ancient times, um, Samoan warriors used to go to war and they used clubs like this. So this is a Nifo Oti. And after they went to war, they came back to their villages and they showed these villages how they um, overcame their opponents and they won their war, yeah? And so they span, they used spinning of their clubs and they acted out how they won over their opponents. And this is called the Ayao, yeah? And um, one of the most famous Samoan um, warriors was called Nafanua. And Nafanua was a woman. And so this shows us that women and men were not the only, um, were able to do the Ayao and were warriors for Samoa. And um, so, um, after they, um, in today's time or in the 70s, they used to do Ailao shows with the Nifo Oti. And then one day, one of the performers thought, I'm going to add some fire to this. And so he tied some boards to each of the ends. And then he lit it on fire. And that is how we we um, now have the Siva Api. And Siva Api is called Fire Dance. And that is the history, a very, very short one, of Siva Api. Thank you for joining us today. Um, if you would like to learn Siva Api, there is a link in the description below. Um, and have a nice day.